Hi, I'm Andrew Phelps, Director of the Oregon Office of Emergency Management, and this is our year in review for 2017. You know, 2017 was a really amazing and busy year for all of us in emergency management across the state, not just at the Oregon Office of Emergency Management. But I wanted to take this opportunity to share a few things that we had going on, some that you know about and some that might be a surprise to you all, uh, as we recap our year 2017 and look forward to 2018. Two federally declared disasters, one in January, the other in August, all going back to winter storms that we experienced experienced uh, from December 16 all the way through February of 2017. So on the disaster front, it was certainly a busy year for us. This coupled with a catastrophic and historic wildfire season brought additional resources into Oregon, the likes of which we've never seen. It was the first time we'd used EMAC for an emergency response, that's the Emergency Management Assistance Compact, and we brought air resources in from several other states to help us with our wildfire fight. We also used the Emergency Management Assistance Compact to send firefighting resources down to California during their historic wildfire season. My conversations with my counterpart in California lead me to believe and know that our response and resources that we sent help save lives and protect property for our neighbors to the south in California. Of course, our capstone event from 2017 was the Great Oregon Eclipse. We had a really fantastic event. I think folks that came to Oregon to view the event had a really good time and, and did so safely. But of course, that event was built on the foundation of a lot of emergency planning, meetings, and exercises and drills that happened behind the scenes. We know in emergency management, a lot of what we do doesn't get seen by the general public. For example, improvements to the real-time assessment and planning tool for Oregon, or Raptor system that we developed, uh, all kinds of different layers and tools made that system much more usable during the eclipse and during our emergency response. We've also been working with our public safety answering points, or PSAPs, to build out uh, advanced 911 infrastructure to ensure that we can better receive whatever technology improvements lie ahead so that you, Oregonians, can get help during an emergency or disaster when you need it most. Our search and rescue coordinator assisted with dozens of search and rescue missions across the state, providing air support through our National Guard partners as well as the U.S. Coast Guard stationed along Oregon's coast. I'd also like to highlight some of the policy initiatives that OEM undertook and were supported by the governor and the state legislature. Senate Bills 61 and 62 were both passed by the House Senate and signed into law by the governor. Senate Bill 61 added additional agencies to the Oregon Emergency Response System, giving us much broader reach for planning and preparedness activities for emergency responses. Senate Bill 62 expanded interstate mutual aid and created the Oregon Resource Coordination Assistance Agreement, or ORCA, allowing us to send resources far and wide across the state in our time of need. I'd also like to mention House Bill 2687, which was signed into law. This bill creates the Oregon Resilience Grant Fund. This grant fund will be used to purchase equipment for communities who need critical life-saving and life-sustaining resources during emergencies or disasters. As busy as 2017 was and all the accomplishments that we achieved as an emergency management 911 community, we want to make sure that we're not resting on our laurels and looking forward to all the excitement and adventure and new uh, opportunities that will present themselves in 2018 so we can fully leverage those opportunities and help make sure that Oregon is ready for whatever emergency or disaster lies ahead regardless of cause. Well, that's all for this year's Year in Review. We'll talk again next year as we recap what a wonderful year 2018 is sure to be.